Hey, girl. Hey. What's up? Oh, what's up? Pretty puppy, huh? Yeah. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we are walking into that place. <laughs> it's a bookstore. Let's go see what they got. Well, today's day was just driving. We didn't do anything ex else except we stopped in a couple of bookstores, bought some books, and now we're back in the hotel for the night. We also found out just now that our title was sent to the wrong address, so I don't know if we'll be able to go home when we wanted to. So, yeah, I'm going to find out what happened with that. Also, for supper today, we uh, tried something new. This is from Chipotle. Throughout this whole trip, we haven't eaten at the same restaurant twice. It's always been something new every time, so we'll see how long we can keep that rolling. This food looks good. It wasn't expensive at all, so let's see how Mexican it tastes. Here we go. First taste test. So this is a, the steak bowl. Got some cheese on it, some sour cream. Onions and peppers. Can't say it tastes bad. The meat could use a bit more flavoring. It tastes a bit flat. Rice and the beans are pretty good though. This is good. Would definitely recommend. Well guys, uh, today's driving, a lot has changed. Like this morning when we started out, there was still beautiful orange trees everywhere. You know, it was fall colors. It was, you know, really beautiful. It was rainy. And right now we're driving in sunshine. And all you see, water. Like, this is the road we're gonna be on for the next 23 and a half miles. Just water. We're actually driving on a bridge that's built across a lake that I don't even know the name of. Lake Pontchartrain. So it's Lake Pontchartrain. Pontchartrain, oh, okay. Anyway, um, it's 23.8 miles long. So that's where we're driving now. So as I was saying, like things have changed a lot since this morning. This morning the trees were all, you know, orange and, and uh, yellow and things. Now everything is green and pine trees because we're like a mile away from the ocean. Just came through New Orleans and it's starting to feel a lot like home with the weather and the you know trees and everything. So I guess we're getting closer. Anyway. Gonna get back on the road. Well, I'm still on the road, but anyway, we've got 21 miles of this bridge left. Ah, good morning, guys. So, as you'll notice in my last two videos, we were rushing to get to the border so that we would get there in time to cross uh, with my uncle. But, as always happens, well, you know, not always, but papers didn't get there in time. So we found out last night that we'll have to wait until Thursday till we can cross the border. So yeah, we're kind of just gonna wait around and start doing stuff in Houston, I guess, because we gotta wait for the papers to get there. So right now, it's almost lunchtime. We're leaving the hotel. We're headed to Houston. We're about two hours out, so let's hit the road. So remember a few videos back when I was sitting in line and waiting for this expedition to be delivered in Copart. But we're back to that game. We are sitting in Copart's yard and we're waiting for another truck that my dad bought. So we're gonna see if we can pick it up today. Um, yeah, so we're in line now. Got about 
18 minutes left until it's our turn. So let's see if this one goes smoother than the last one did. So we've got the truck. We waited here for about three hours on the lot for them to bring it out. And now we found out that it doesn't have a key in it. So that means we can't drive. So I'm waiting on a phone call from my dad to see what we're gonna do. But we'll see if we can get somebody to tow it or what we'll do. Cause this is not working too well. All right, I'm gonna wait for that phone call. Well guys, that did not go as planned. So we waited there, as I mentioned, for hours and it, we didn't get the truck out. So we left it there. We have a plan for tomorrow. So we'll see how that works out. So our plan is tomorrow morning is to go back to Copart and we'll have somebody transport the pickup truck to a yard where we can park it until a later date when we can come to pick it up. We didn't get a key. It says the only way to get a key, like I went to Ford dealer, they say the only way to get a key is to get a locksmith to build one. So we don't want to go through all that hassle now. So yeah, like I said, we're just going to park it and we'll leave it. And hopefully we'll be able to drive all the way to the border tomorrow. So let's see how that goes. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I know this is a, took a few more days into this one, but it's just there, it's, you know, there hasn't been a lot of stuff happening. So hopefully it's going to get more exciting from tomorrow. All right, see you in the next one.